Football is a game of many emotions. It can be exhilarating, pleasurable, frustrating, and can induce sentiment. There are times when a team, a player, or a manager are not able to overcome some obstacles, despite numerous attempts. There was a time when Lionel Messi's inability to win an international trophy was seen as a jinx. He broke that by winning the Copa America and World Cup with Argentina eventually. However, not all jinxes have been broken in football. These peculiar events or facts are a constant reminder that not everything goes according to plan, no matter how hard someone tries. Having said that, a lot of effort goes every year into breaking these jinxes in football. Here is a look at famous football jinxes that have stood the test of time in football. Manchester United's number 7 jersey. During Manchester United's glory days and domination of the Premier League, the club always had iconic players don the number 7 jersey. Players like Eric Cantona, David Beckham, and Cristiano Ronaldo achieved incredible success while wearing it. However, after the departure of the Portuguese in 2009, world-class players struggled to live up to the expectations of the jersey's past. Michael Owen, Antonio Valencia, Angel Di Maria, Memphis Depay, and Alexis Sanchez all had poor performances while wearing the number. Edinson Cavani undid some of the curse's effects before giving the jersey back to Cristiano Ronaldo, who made a sensational return to the club last term. Right now, Mason Mount wears the number seven at the club. Racing's Dead Cats. A bizarre story from Argentina tells that 1967 Copa Libertadores and Intercontinental Cup winners Racing Club won the country's traditional Big Five clubs were cursed that year when rival Independiente fans broke into the stadium and buried seven dead black cats. Racing couldn't repeat their success of the 1960s. The 1970s passed without further titles, while the club was even relegated from Argentina's top flight in 1983. Six of the decaying felines were recovered over the years, but the seventh remained missing. The curse was therefore still in place, and racing were declared bankrupt in 1998. A year later, a priest performed an exorcism at the stadium before an audience of 100,000. By 2001, new manager Reynaldo Merlo had ordered a full search and the last cat was eventually found. Within months, racing had won the 2001 Apertura, their first Argentine title since 1966, Drake Curse. The Drake Curse revolves around the idea that whenever the Canadian rapper Drake publicly supports a particular sports team or athlete, they are almost guaranteed to lose their upcoming match. Several teams have experienced the Drake Curse, most notably Los Blancos. Drake visited the Real Madrid Stadium and posed for pictures wearing the team's jersey. Shortly after his visit, Real Madrid experienced an unexpected draw against a lower-ranked opponent. Another instance of this curse was when Drake was spotted at an AC Milan game. Shortly after, AC Milan, usually known for their success in penalties, faced a penalty shootout and lost. This led fans to playfully suggest that the Drake curse had struck the club's penalty-taking abilities. Aaron Ramsey's Goal Curse Aaron Ramsey's Goal Curse is a superstition in the world of soccer that suggests that whenever the footballer scores a goal in an important game for his club or national team, it is often followed by the untimely passing of a well-known figure from the world of entertainment or politics. An instance of the Aaron Ramsey curse was in May 2011. The footballer scored a goal for Arsenal against Manchester United and shortly after, it was reported that Osama bin Laden had been killed. Again, in 2011, Ramsey scored a goal for Arsenal against Tottenham. Within a week, Steve Jobs, the co-founder of Apple, passed away. When Ramsey scored a goal against Cardiff City in November 2013, just days later, actor Paul Walker, known for his role in the Fast and Furious film series, tragically died in a car accident. Subscribe to our channel for more football stories and daily videos.